We all know how amazing the good old engine is. Its future is always something important in order to know how the engine evolves in all aspects. So today let's take a deeper look into Godot's future. 1. More developers So this is the first point that I want to discuss with you. Basically the amount of Godot developers are increasing literally every day, okay? And one example of this is basically the GMTK game jump, you probably already know these kind of events. So basically GMTK uh, yearly hosts uh, some kind of game jam, okay, they are even organizing the game jam for 2024 that as you can see starts in something more than uh, two months. So we'll also have some information here about how more developers hopefully are using here uh, the Widow engine, but of course they have already did um, this game jam uh, some years before, okay, and we have interesting analytics to analyze from that. So basically here you have the uh, percentage of the engines that were used in the GMTK game jumps throughout the years, okay? Of course, uh, this event started, I think, in 2020 and well, continued until uh, now. And well, hopefully in a couple of months we are going to be able to analyze the GMTK game jump um, when the GMTK game jump of 2024 starts. And after it finishes, we will probably have some information about how the engines evolved, okay? So, um, for sure, the most used engine in in all years has been Unity with, let's say, a wide difference. For example, we can see that in 2020, we had 62%, and the others, for example, without 12, 10, and well, the others quite, quite low. And other thing that I want you to take a look at is here this other section. This other section means that... Uh, the, the people use other engines besides the one that are listed here and we can see an a, a pretty huge here increasement from 7% in 2022 to 17 in 2023 so that's like um a two, 200 percentage more okay so that's a huge difference that we have over there um so we'll also get into the reasons for this but well, as you can see, basically, as years go by, uh, the, the Unity engine is used less, okay? Of course, it's not that it's going from a 60 to a 30, that would be uh, quite dramatic. They are dropping the numbers, not so high. But well, what is increasing considerably is the good old game engine, because you can see in something like uh, three years, good old increased the usage, literally it doubled the usage, okay? It is quite uh, close to doubling the, the percentage, okay? So basically, who knows? Because also the Godot engine in the last month, in the last year, I would say after the Unity runtime fee uh, debate, basically, well, lots of people started using Godot. So maybe now, uh, since like something like a, a year has passed, or eight, nine months since this runtime fee issue with Unity, well, lots of people started using Godot. So maybe uh, now that they are accustomed to using Godot, in 2024, they actually use good old for the 2024 GMTK so probably we'll also have important information over here and also something related to that is that people uh, people were trying to actually try out other engines besides the typical options that are unity and good old now here in google trends you can uh, know the amount of things like the search terms uh, that are being searched in google I'm saying, for example, in the past 30 days, this blue line is Godot and this red one is Unity. So, well, as you can see, in the past 30 days, of course, the amount of people that is looking for the term Unity is much more than the people that is uh, searching for Godot. Uh, but, for example, if we compare it to uh, the past five years, we can see that here Godot uh, grew quite amazing because here Godot has like a score of four or five and well now here is in something like 10 so it basically doubled its popularity in the last let's say five years okay and well here when actually in 2021 when things were starting to uh, let's say uh, started to get popular the engine basically well as you can see if we take this point over here let's say 2022 until 2023 22 that it that it was when most people started using Godot, as you can see after the, the Unity debacle that was in some something like September of 2023, lots of people started actually using Godot, and lots of people, as you can see, stopped searching for Unity if we compare it to the previous years. As you can see, we had amounts something like 60, 70, and here, well, we have 
also 60 but for example here uh, 58 so just by looking at the graph you can see that less people is actually looking for unity than it used to be done uh, three two years ago now the second point that i would like to discuss with you is basically the profitable games that were released with the good old engine so basically we'll take a look at some of the most profitable games that were released with without because even though without isn't uh, a super old engine that it has dozens of games as for example unity has we still have hit cases that we can study and take a look at for example this game called uh, rotato okay has been quite popular uh, here we, we can also have a video if you didn't actually uh, see this game uh, so it's a kind of survival wave shooter game um, we're not going to go deeper into the game actually but well the important thing here is that for example the quick stats over here you can see that the gross revenue is just massive the active players is massive um, they, they have sold more than 2 millions of units um, so that's of course amazing um, so yes basically here we have one case in which the without engine was uh, was successful that launched a successful game we also have for example cassette beast okay other interesting game that you may want to take a look at so again we have here uh, some images about the game and also the uh the game trailer okay so let me try to find here some so as you can see that like some kind of battle of 2.5 uh game okay um and basically there are also some dialogues the style is quite good oh well as you can see here we have over um 200k of units sold over 3 millions of uh, gross revenue once again it was quite a hit the last example that we'll take a look at is a uh, cruelty squad that sold over 500 units had a gross revenue of over 7 million dollars and here again we can take a look at uh, some images basically it's like some kind of shooter game that again has quite an interesting visual style like some kind of retro style with the models and the textures and everything uh, so again quite interesting that part then the last point that i want to discuss with you is open source basically to refresh your minds remember that in september of 2023 uh, unity announced that they were going to be charging the developer okay for every uh, time that the uh, game that they released with unity was downloaded okay so and uh, the thing with that is that unity wasn't uh, transparent at all because basically uh, there weren't like um accurate answers from the unity team that, that basically would answer to the question of what would happen if a user for example creates uh, an artificial intelligence that would uninstall and install the game over and over again and unity basically say yes yes we have all system that will avoid charging more but well it was as you can see everything a little bit black because we didn't actually have that kind of transparency that we usually like so of course everything was mess people even until today lost completely the trust in the unity engine so of course it was a debacle quite quite uh, interesting and of course everybody saw without like the the best option because of its open source nature that basically means that it's owned by the community so there is no company behind it which means that will never be some kind of runtime fee that from one day to other will will be announced there is nothing like that without will will never charge you for even just a penny okay even if your game sells millions and millions of copies without one charge because it is owned by the community nobody is the owner of without actually they just have some developers and some leaders but there is no company behind it so that's other thing important for the without future because we have also seen in the gmtk game jam in the google trends how more and more people is getting interested in the world engine and who knows maybe in something like three four years the worldwide used uh engine is not anymore unity and starts being without so what's the takeaway here without future is looking pretty awesome we've seen more and more developers jumping on board thanks to events like the gmtk game jam and the buzz it's getting on google trends this means more cool games and creative projects are on the horizon Speaking of games, look at hits like Rotato, Cassette Vist, and Cruelty Squad. These games are proof that you can make a profitable and popular games with Godot. It's not just for the hobbies. Real successful games are coming out of this engine. And let's not forget the whole open source thing. With Unity facing some hit lately, Godot's free and open source model is even more appealing. It's become a real contender, kinda like how Blender shook up the 3D modeling world. 
In short, if you are into game development without a name to watch, it's growing fast, the community is buzzing, and it's it's got some serious potential. Whether you are an indie developer or part of a big team, now it's a great time to dive into Godot and see where it can take you. Exciting times are ahead. So basically if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more Godot content and like and comment as well. See you in the next one and bye bye.